Hi guys, Brian Garness with SE Automation here. Today we're going to take a look at configuring an E1 to use an available MPI or Profibus DP port. So uh, let's take a look at the configuration that we're going to work with. Uh, here is uh, our standard PC uh, connecting with eCatcher through Talk to M and to a standard uh, E1. Uh, one that includes an MPI DP port. Uh, this is a special version of the E1. Uh, different from the standard serial port uh, RS-232-485 uh, that's available. So uh, this is a configuration that we're going to look at, uh, leaving out this uh, S7400 that's uh, connected directly with uh, Ethernet into the LAN. Uh, we are going to connect with an MPI DP cable, uh, the purple Barney bus from the MPI port to the uh, one of the front ports on on the uh, S7300 processor. In our case, we have an S7317F. Uh, uh, that doesn't make any difference. You're going to be able to connect with whatever processor uh, that you have uh, with Profibus or MPI. The uh, E1 itself basically acts like a router. Uh, it presents itself as a 400 series PLC into uh, uh, the Somatic S7, and it handles routing uh, from the Ethernet connection to the MPI DP port. So how do we set this up? Uh, I'm gonna connect to the E1 router uh, basically, I've already uh, found my router connected, and it's presented this IP address to me, 1095-128-129. Er, uh, there's a shortcut there to click on uh, configuration, um, and uh, I still have the uh, default passwords. So basically, the only part of the configuration that we need to change beyond the basic setup of the E1 is the IO server config. And I went to configuration, IO server config, and we're gonna pick the protocol S7, 3, and 400. When that comes up, uh, it will come up with uh, a, whatever the default was. In this case, it's MPI. We are gonna follow the schematic that I gave you uh, to, sh to connect via Profibus. Uh, you can see under MPI, there's no station seen. And if we uh, flip over to Profibus, ours is 1.5, the standard baud rate. And we're gonna put our E1 device at address one or node one. That's gonna be important as we set up the S7 connection side. So I will update the config to accept Profibus. There's a nice little tool in here. If we uh, just click on edit, uh, it's already it's still on S7, 3, and 400. You can see the uh, it saved the configuration. And now if I take a look at the destination uh, nodes, uh, the map shows that I see an active station two and an active station one. Of course, the E1 is one and the default Profibus address of a S7 PLC is node two. Close that. Basically, we're done here with the configuration of the E1 device. We're now ready to uh, connect with Step 7 Manager. Okay, now that we've uh, connected the E1 successfully, uh, taking uh, a look at our port uh, that we connected to, uh, you'll see that that's the uh, port on this uh, 317F. It doesn't matter what you have uh, as long as it uh, what the CPU supports a Profibus connection. So um, in our case here, we're connected on this uh, Profibus port. The Profibus is at 1.5 megabaud and it's at address number two. So now we need to uh, set up a routing which will allow us to connect to that uh, from Ethernet over to the Profi, Profi bus. Obviously we have no direct connection uh, over Profi bus. 
So we use this uh, network uh, definition tool uh, called NetPro. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, uh, represent the E1 in here, and we're going to represent the uh, computer, or in Siemens terms, the PG. Uh, so first of all, in the, in the manual, you'll find, uh, uh, this is the E1 manual, you'll find reference to two files that are already pre-configured that you can uh, download. Uh, if, you're, if you have WinCC in your project, they suggest one. If you don't, they suggest another one. I've already downloaded the, uh, the config file and I have it on my desktop. So all that's left to do is uh, edit, uh, import, and I will browse to the desktop and grab the WinCC version. I found that uh, is probably the most generic and should work uh, for all cases. So again, going to the desktop, I find the file WinCC, E1 WinCC CFG, and I import that. And here it is. Uh, basically, it is under the hood a CPU 412-2. Uh, there's instructions also for making this from scratch, but uh, this seemed to work uh, very well. Uh, you can see uh, we have a, a couple of problems. Uh, we have two uh, port twos. So we're gonna need to uh, get this one connected and we're gonna have to give it the uh, address of the E1 that we defined earlier. So I will connect it to the Profibus 1 network, uh, say okay. So you can see that that generated a network connection and assigned us node number one here. Uh, the address of the ethernet uh, port on the E1 uh, we know that from our earlier uh, configuration. Uh, yours will be different, but it's 10 minus 10.95.128.129. So um, it's already connected to the Ethernet network, so everything is good once I, I do that. Okay, so that defines uh, the, hardware con the hardware that's in the system except for the PGPC. And I'm going to drag that in out of the stations folder over in the catalog. So all that's left is to connect this PG uh, to both networks. Actually, just one network. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna first define an interface for it, and the interface will be an industrial Ethernet. Um, we We'll join it to the um, Ethernet 1, which will generate the, the line. And we will uh, then assign it to a network card. So in our case, we're going to assign it to the uh, network card here in my virtual machine. Uh, and we're going to use the TCP IP auto version of it. Once both of these are highlighted, we have the ability to click assign. Uh, it's warning me that I can't change the IP address of the adapter, but that's not a problem. If I highlight it, you can see that it is active. So once we say OK, the other indication that we have that it's active is this uh, yellow line uh, that basically allows uh, routing to occur. So the data will be traveling through Ethernet from our computer um, into the E1. It will be uh, translated to Profibus uh, in, that, in the E1 and then uh, sent out the uh, Profibus port. So that's how our connection is going to work. And uh, last step is to save and compile. So you might worry, does this change the project? Uh, it really doesn't uh, do anything to your PLC project. Uh, basically, it uh, can ride along. At any point, you can delete the E1 out of the project. Um, you know, if you're sending it out into the field and you don't want any confusion, you can uh, get rid of that. But uh, the warning was uh, 
just that other stations needed to be downloaded. Uh, in our case, that's not true. Our, our E1 is all configured for doing routing. So uh, once I've saved and compiled that, uh, there's nothing more to do here. Uh, all we need to do is uh, uh, make sure that our PG uh, PC interface is set to the same network card. And uh, as we can should be able to see, our TCP IP auto one is active. Uh, you can also see it up here. It's just not easy to read, but uh, we're set to go there. Now we're ready to connect to the PLC uh, doing our normal programming tasks. I'll open up uh, OB1 here. And uh, then uh, to go online in Siemens, you hit these uh, glasses. And we're now monitoring live and uh, we can tell that we are connected and that this uh, code is being executed uh, by the uh, moving run bar here. And uh, I will uh, interact with the program, I'll push the stop button, and that uh, ladder uh, goes dark. So we are, we are online. In addition to that, you can do uh, download um, online diagnostics, if you go to the uh, hardware config, everything works as uh, normal as if you were connected directly to the Profi uh, port. So we can go online here, we can look at the diagnostic buffer, all of that. Uh, lastly, in your program, connecting uh, the E1 uh, drops an extra station on, onto your program. It doesn't really affect any other part of the program. If you want to delete that at any time, uh, if you're sending the project back out in the field, uh, it, it doesn't cause any ill effects uh, either way um, by deleting that out of there. So uh, hopefully that was helpful getting you uh, connected uh, with a remote service application of the E1 with Profibus. Thanks for listening.